What's going on YouTube, Fezzafar Media, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe for all latest UK media updates and story videos, keeping you updated and informed and of course follow us on Instagram at Fezzafar to get all the updates first. So this is the story episode 38 and today we're going to be doing Miss. Make sure you comment below who you want to see next. If this hits a thousand likes, I'll be dropping another episode on Monday. So make sure you smash that like button. As always, we start with the intro and facts. Miss's real name is Rhys Thomas. He was born on the 2nd of March 1992. He's a British rapper from Birmingham. He was released in prison in 2015 and he started to pursue his music career more seriously. He started to release a lot of freestyles and numbers would start to pick up online. But that isn't when he first started. There is still a freestyle on YouTube on a channel called I Tell Ed where Mist and Shadow and a Beat dropped a freestyle and it was more of a grime style. Mist, from Ting, from town, up to Derby. Don't know. You know how we do this. Oh, one, two, Fuck one. Fucking hell. Yeah. <gasps> Fuck a notepad, hold it down with the art lines and the garlands So nearly an old man when they met me, so I'm treating my whole fam Huh? Take on four man, don't care who you know man I might run in your coop in shadow with a strap like blood Say it was a crime much program, huh? Pipe in the start you don't wanna fight in the dark, got 20 guard lines, can't talk from the park, 25 art lines in the back of the dance. Say they really wanna see my ting the spark, ain't playing bang for your heart. Then they really want it if a nigga that would drive for your house in a car, I'll be like Misty speaking. Mist has put in countless work and the freestyles really was that rise for him. Just to note some of his most notable work, So High with Fredo is a classic hit on 41 million views. He had the song as well with Steel Bangles and Stefan Don, which is the remix on 47, which is on 26 million views. Ain't the same as on 20 million. His freestyle, the classic freestyle, is on 17 million views. Carlisle's Back is on 15 million views. He had the ZZ freestyle on Grime Daily on 15 million views. He had a few tracks of most stack like Screw and Brew. That is on 15 million views and Hot Property as well, that's on 13 million. He's got Game Changer on 13 million, he's got Madness as well on 10 million and this guy is putting a lot of work. Mist is very unique in the fact he can get you gassed up and have that commercial appeal and also he's good at being vulnerable and storytelling with it. He's talked about losing his mother in tracks, he's talked about how he has no license, he's on a ban and he come back years later and now he's driving and he can get vulnerable as long as making that music that can gas you up. He paid tribute to his mother's passing on the track Cemetery Walks where it marked the nine year anniversary of his mother's death. <laughs> This artillery is military. Gun smoke, gunpowder in my new Mary. I just wanna live it and bill it. Money is minutes. Now nah, I ain't really into gimmicks. Cause I was tagged at my aunties. Just threw an R1 up in my banshee. Remember when I never had no canteen? Remember when I never had no plan B? I know my still bang's nice when I bang G. Smoke couple Z's when I'm angry. Don't dare me to enter the game like Jumanji. Ah, fuck it. I'm a driver, go sideways round islands, chingings and dippings and violence, m -m middle finger for the trident. Mr's also mentioned in his music that he has a daughter. Love her, turn morning to snap. Who's snap? Snapchat. Oh, hello. Gang business. And he has also clarified that both his parents died prior to his music career. In 2012, it said he was fined £80 for possession of marijuana and sentenced to probation. In 2014, he was involved in a police chase on the M6 after he was caught driving without a license and sentenced to 14 months in prison on the 1st of October after admitting dangerous driving and using a vehicle uninsured. He's also talked about this on Vlad TV. He had quite a few interview clips on there. We talked about the come up and also what happened with his police history. Since he come out, he stayed out of trouble. There has been some people enticing him, like there was rumours he got robbed and he responded to it. Are you sick? We ill made. Are you sick? We ill made, B. <laughs> so obviously, people are trying to come up off me. Are you trying to come up off me, whoever this is? Huh? You mad? Rob me. Sick my caller. You gone fucking mad. You mad. Whoever you've robbed, are you fucking mad if you think you robbed me? Are you fucking mad? You get me? MOD, all this shit. You get me? Go on G, check yourself. But Rob Mister, you mad fam. Sick made all day. Sick made business, remember that. Get me? Man shouldn't even be making these dickhead videos getting drawn out by these fucking man that are trying to get booked big in the music game. You get me fam? Man come in here and set levels. Set levels. You get me? Set levels in it. Set levels. Wanna make fucking lies and shit. Remember? Remember you didn't rob me done. You didn't rob me fam. 
Don't know who you rub done. Don't know where you got that from, done. Huh? Don't know where you got that from. Huh? Huh? Where you get that from, done? Huh? What's going on? I don't understand. Huh? And more recently, it was the incident where Miss was shot at in Portugal, but I've already covered this, so I'll put the clip in for you guys now. Next up, we have a case where you're more vulnerable on a holiday. Mist was shot and robbed in Portugal for multiple items. Now, he was rushed to hospital after being shot in the leg and thankfully made a full recovery, so he's okay. It was said the Birmingham star was rushed to a hospital after being shot and burgled in a luxury villa in Portugal. The burglars allegedly took Miss's passport, phones and jewellery. Miss's real name Reese was driven to Faro Hospital by two friends who told the police that the 27-year-old was shot at around 10pm. It comes to social media's attention because people of his circle was putting up posts saying, and praying for Miss. He was kind of putting up stuff on social media showing where he was, but I don't think he was a result of any of the eclipse or people found out his location that way. But it's a random attack to be in Portugal. Normally you're more safer abroad from the, the hood stuff. So it might have just been a random attack and he just saw him there and panicked and shot him when he was robbing him. But it's still unsolved on who did that. But unsolved stuff from the UK to Portugal has happened before with Madeline McCann. It's not a surprise he didn't find out who did it. Natural vibes. become easily one of the biggest rappers in the UK. He started around 2011-2012, what you see on YouTube, but five or so years he's had properly in a game to really start pushing, and he was the first guy to put a lot of money and effort into his music videos like Hot Property, and he set the trend for that, and now the music video level in the UK is insane. I think we'll see a lot more from this guy in the future, and he will become one of the biggest rappers in the UK, period, not just his aerial. Make sure you all comment who you want to see on the story next. I always get my suggestions on the next episode from the comments, so if you ain't commenting, you ain't picking who's on there, or you can DM me as well. I'll see you guys in my next one. Guys, thank you all for watching this video. As always, make sure you subscribe and press that notification bell to be updated on my next videos. And follow me on Instagram at Fezify. Drop me a message, feel free. I'll see you in my next one. Peace out.